Hey YouTube, good morning. Well, this is uh, what I've been waiting on. The sun's up. For those of you that watched the last video, uh, first impressions last night, obviously it was a lot darker. It was a little bit early in the morning. Couldn't quite see as much. Uh, so what happened? FSD Beta version 9 came in last night. Um, FSD Beta 9, they're calling it build 2021.4.18.12. So we're still on a... Uh, on the fork dot four, which is a little old, um, but in any case, it's updated to uh, Tesla Vision vis uh, version nine. Uh, the navigation data doesn't look like it was updated with this release uh, that I can tell, but I, I may be wrong there. Uh, there are just a few release notes I can just cover quickly. Um, for those of you that are interested, you've probably already seen the images of these. Um, there were three specific items: full self-driving beta. Driving improvement, uh, driving visualization improvements, which is this UI you're seeing over here, and then cabin camera uh, above the rearview mirror up here uh, can now determine driver in driver inattentiveness. So I'm going to hopefully be able to test that today. I'm really curious to see if I can not have to hold the wheel if the if I'm looking forward. But we'll do a little testing on that. So I've programmed Memorial Park, the same drive I did yesterday for anyone that wants to do a side-by-side -side comparison, and uh, hopefully the, the, the mapping will be identical. And I think what I'm going to try for visualization, I'm in daytime mode 100%. I'm going to do that on leg one, and then I'll do nighttime mode 100% on leg two, just in case there's any washout uh, or visualization. Interesting, we got a situation here with some pedestrians you get to see uh, walking up. So there's the, the first um, visualization. They even have a stroller there it looked like was <laughs> rendered a little bit that's interesting or maybe that's a motorcycle um that was good to watch there maybe a few of you can uh, look at that i got a, a, a visualization popped up i wonder if it was that tree branch that was being interpreted anyway let's get going the memorial park drive uh fsd beta version 9 welcome here we go all right Kind of recaging itself it did put itself in the middle of the lane which isn't optimal here creeping forward it's clear interesting scenario here uh i don't know if you can well you definitely can see it now but there's a train on the other side of this divided highway i um, wonder how it's going to render that if it will doesn't look like it's rendering anything here oh it made through a semi in there that was kind of fun Okay, notice the visualization here. It's creeping. I'm going to kind of show you this new view here. I'm looking left. It's wide open. There's no cars for a while. So it could definitely perceive, but it's being very slow and cautious. Maybe a little too slow with a completely wide open highway. But it did the turn just fine. Rendered correctly. There was a no left turn sign up there. Uh, for the train that's off to my left there's a railroad track over here i didn't see any attempt to render that as a stop sign or a, a unique sign that says it's the unique sign that says no left turn when there's a train there uh, there's another one coming up at this next intersection <clears throat> to see if it does it again Maybe just start to see it up here. There's three stoplights and a no turn sign. And I don't see, eh, it flickered a red in there and that sign was red, so it did see some color. This this rendering, now that I'm looking at it in the daytime versus last night, it's, it's, it's kind of like a fuzzy little dream kind of view. <clears throat> and I don't know, <clears throat> excuse me, if it's just masking data it doesn't understand and turning it into a blur but it um, definitely is different and I'm, I'm getting used to it I feel like there's a lot less information being displayed to me here <clears throat> alright we got a flashing yellow here last night it did a complete stop for this flashing yellow and it did exactly what it should do slow down a little bit and proceed proceeded it did not do that last night Okay, so just like in yesterday's drive, I'm going to disengage here and take this right turn just to get the mapping uh, to, to reroute because we did not get waypoints uh, in this FSD build. Wasn't expecting it, but 
and once the root readjusts, I'll re-engage. Nice, very strong, solid double line here. Um, now, while it is double autopilot's re-engaged, while it is double yellow, it's just showing it as a very solid yellow. So it'll be interesting to see if uh, the, the strength of the yellow indicates anything specifically. These renderings, there's a pedestrian there. It's very good. All smoother uh, production level UI icons here. Okay, we have an unprotected left now because that was not at the sign. So it needs to wait on these oncoming cars. Let's see how it does this. Uh, yeah, it's proceeding. Let's see how it does. Nice and a little bit of an overshoot there but it was smooth. I would say a little aggressive, but smooth. So that was the first overshoot. Okay, yesterday, uh, these parking spots uh, had a few more cars in them and it did not recognize it as a lane or as a, as a lane boundary. Let's see what it does today. It looks like it's the exact same. It, it's rendering it as the full lane, but it's not going over today. Yesterday, it did a little bit of a weave over there. Starting to redraw a line right there, but that line is solid. Okay, so I guess it's just visualizing the exact same as yesterday, but with different graphics. All right. So here we've got a, a double yellow, actually a double green now. So there's two layers of greens. Looks like it's rendering them all accurately cones up here to the left and it should be proceeding straight on the light Let's see where it stopped today yesterday yeah it stopped okay the stop line is up there it's even mapping the stop line correctly there is another white line right here so it chose the wrong white line I'm just gonna capture that Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit of testing here on this road because it's a little bit less congested to see if the camera will allow me to leave my hands off of the wheel. I'm gonna put it close when I approach cars though. Okay, I have some oncoming traffic. My eyes, okay, apply sight turning force to the steering wheel. So it did ask me to, to apply sight steering wheel force. So I'm guessing this inattentiveness is not in lieu of the steering wheel. I'll do it one more time here. All right, I'm letting go. Okay, took about 13 or 14 seconds and it gave me another uh, apply uh, force to the steering wheel. So while it was added for attentiveness, I'm not sure how it's integrated or, or, or what um, alerts I would get. This flashing yellow created confusion yesterday. It's showing red right now. It did it correctly. It slowed and proceeded. That's what I would expect with a flashing yellow. We got one more coming up here. Let's see if this has improved. Okay, that one, it didn't even slow and I had a flash of red. Uh, well, I, it did, okay, it did it better than yesterday. Smoother, went through there. Um, Hopefully it was acknowledging them. Uh, acknowledging them. Okay, so here we have a right turn. So it's a stoplight right now. It can turn right on red if it chooses. It's not on the right side of the road. It should be. Okay, now it's a protected, so it's a green right turn. All right, now we've got a nice large median here to the left and some cars kind of parked here on the right. It needs to go around. Looks like the path vector is creating good, good vectors around it. An always stop sign. Yesterday in California rolled this. It went all the way down to four here. A um, little jittery on that turn, but I think it was double checking that curb. Either way, it uh, did better on that than yesterday as far as stopping. Uh, path vector last night in night mode was aqua and this morning uh, in day mode it's green flashing yellow 
showing red, yellow, red, yellow. It slowed down but did not stop. So that's three flashing yellows, actually four so far on this drive, and it's done pretty good on all of them. All right, got some trash cans kind of in the street. It's rendering them in the street, so that's good. Very occluded speed limit sign that it did not show there. So I guess it could not see that speed limit sign. so good I would say it feels better uh, yeah I'm gonna hold judgment on, on, on generalizing yet but I don't know it just feels like it's not as jerky that's a broad generalization though all right let's see where it does on this stop line it's got the stop line mapped correctly and then I got a green before it got all the way up but it did just fine I got some pedestrians and runners over here that's good mapping them with some new symbology Got some more walkers on sidewalks to the right. Looks like it's showing them. All right, the light's turning yellow up here. Saw a pedestrian flicker there, so it looks like that bench or that fire hydrant or one of those signs, it flickered as a pedestrian. So there's a little bit of uh, interpretation going on in real time that's uh, not 100%. So these accelerations off of the stoplights feels good. Some puddles here couple manhole covers. I know we talked about that yesterday as being one of the issues that uh, Roderick Arparthy had talked about with the problem with uh, radar is seeing manhole covers as, as obstacles. Um, definitely not, a, not an issue on vision only. There's a good stop sign rendering there. That one was not occluded. Alright, it's got a little bit of a jog here. It's mapping these pedestrian signs as cones occasionally. Kind of cut that one pretty close. All right, it's slowing down here for a green light, but it might have been because that stop sign was occluded. That's interesting. So it slowed down, not sure. Wow. All right, so that's the uh, end of leg one, Memorial Park Drive. I'm gonna go ahead and disengage and keep going. Um, I'm pretty impressed with that drive. A little bit less traffic than yesterday, but yesterday I didn't really have any traffic issues. But I think um, the yellow lights were definitely much better. The visualization, of course, is eye candy. Uh, who doesn't like a, a pretty UI? Um, my general thought on the visualization, though, is, is I'm missing a lot of information. A lot of the oncoming car colors, a lot of the colors um, that were being used are now gone, with the exception of the colors used on lane markings and median markings. Um, so while this is closer to a production-ready visualization, uh, perhaps for the, for the masses, for a larger release, um, in testing, I, I, I'm kind of craving uh, more data. All right, let me switch the settings around um, and I'll restart on the second leg. All right, I'm back. Now I've got this set on night mode 100%. Uh, I've taken the auto brightness off. So it looks a little dark here, but just for the purposes of this experiment, I'm gonna leave this on because sometimes in post-production, the colors look a little bit better. Uh, if the day mode was better, I apologize, uh, we both learned a little bit of a lesson here. Um, I'm not sure why that heater's on. All right, so let's go leg two, um, and we'll see how it does. The uh, visualization is the same as before. Um, here we've got a nice kind of a th three-way intersection where it's got a great view to the left. Okay, there's no cars to worry about, so it should just proceed. A little wide there. God, that's the second time I've felt like it went wide. So maybe that is something to talk about here, is, is it's going wider on vision. Um, I, we'll, let's keep watching that. Okay, green proceeding. It's clear. 
Starting to be a few more pedestrians out. It's uh, 7 a.m. here now. You're starting to see some of these low angle sun, sun obscurations. The camera might get washed out like that a little bit as the sun angle hits it. But... All right, got some opposite side bikers. There's a biker. It's really dark. I wish I'd have had the biker on the day visualization. But the contrast right now, this these white lines, the yellow line and the red line look really good to me now. Um, there's definitely no doubt where it's mapping the white line. Before on the uh, previous FSD visualizations, that little white line was much less obvious. Cardboard in the road there, nothing to worry about. see the stoplights coming in here we even have one out of service but it was it, initially it showed both of them lit and then it turned it off pedestrian crossing nice and smooth in that turn it should just proceed straight through this light looks good a little bit of oncoming traffic identified Hugging the left lane very, or the left line very closely. A little bit wide there again. Interesting. Maybe visualizations taking wider turns. I'm gonna have to be careful if there's any uh, cars or anything on the outside edge of any of these turns. All right, got a good scenario here. Oh, it slowed down a little bit. Yesterday, I had a similar scenario to that same spot with that car backing out. I got a runner here to the right. Very dark in this visualization. <clears throat> but as soon as that car back there started backing out, I felt a deceleration. I'll have to go look in the, in the post-production to see. That would have been a good behavior. Flashing yellow there, still flickering, and it slowed for that yellow. Okay, so I don't know if it was slowing for those cars or for that yellow light, but just really, really late. It would make sense if it was slowing for those cars. That was about the right time, but if it was slowing down for the yellow, it was after the fact. All right, here's that funny Y intersection where it's gonna take a right. It's got five intersections here. That was a good one. Yesterday, so that's where a little bit wider was nice. Yesterday, that turn was a little tight. Today, it was just about right. Okay, it's gotta go around this car to get to that stop sign. And it's mapping it all correctly with its vector, so that's good. It needs to get all the way up. It's a little bit obstructed here to the left. I still can't see, so it needs to creep. Let's see how this creep goes. It, okay, it's not clear. It needs to wait. There's the, let's see if the car's there. There, you see that visualization, it was a little late on it. Okay, it's clear left and right now. Hey, I can't complain about that one. Obviously there wasn't a lot of traffic to deal with, but there was one car, it started to go, it was creeping, it saw it, it stopped, and then once it passed, it, it, it proceeded smoothly. That was a good one. I'm not gonna give it an A plus yet, because I like to see that there's more interactions in traffic in acknowledging each one, but um, but I'm going to give that one a win. All right, we got a big boat here and an oncoming car. Let's see, it's going to thread the needle. Gosh, it did that pretty good. It, it mapped the boat as a truck, but it squeezed it in there. Here we got flashing lights again. Stayed yellow the whole time on that one. A couple more flashers. Okay, I saw red there but it's yellow. Hey, this build light, okay, he's got his car door open now. Okay, it needs to give him a lot of room. Okay, it crossed the yellow line to avoid that car. It didn't slow down enough, but that was one of those weird scenarios, not just the car, but the door. It did really good on that one. That might be worth a highlight clip. Um, I wish it had slowed down a little bit more. Here's a lot more joggers. 
uh, the night visualization is just not helping here on this one. All right, got a pedestrian with some dogs here. I didn't see any pets in that uh, imagery. A little bit of construction. Got a road work sign here on the right with some barrels. Just showing them as cones. Okay, went a little bit wide there. I don't know why. Okay, okay, it got confused. There's nobody behind me, so I'm gonna let it do its thing. Okay, it fixed it. Can't complain. If there was a policeman behind me or another car, they'd have been like, what are you doing? Uh, but it got where it needed to go. I don't know if you can see this over here. There's a lot of construction. Obviously, constructions are deviations from the maps. So while there used to be two lanes here, there's only one now. And it had to figure it out. And it did. A little jerky, but I'm not going to complain that uh, it did the wrong thing. It just kind of was a little erratic. I don't think it would have turned out that well in version 8.2. Those construction confusion points usually didn't end well, um, but that's one data point. Maybe over time we'll get more of them. Another one of these stop for pedestrians. I haven't run into a scenario where a pedestrian was in the crosswalk and the car had to treat it like a stop sign. Uh, maybe over time, we'll get one of those. So I'm thinking with this new visualization, I need daytime mode. You can let me know in the comments. I think that the previous version had a lot more going on with dots and colors that you needed to see. This more subdued visualization, um, I feel, needs daytime mode. Matter of fact, just because I'm sure of it and I'm at a stopping stop sign here, I'm going to go back to day mode 100%. Um, make that decision on the fly. I know I said I would leave it there for the whole drive, but let me know in your comments what you think. I think there's so much gray here and, and fuzziness. We've got a protected left with an arrow. It's doing a good job there. It went wide again. It didn't, I, I don't know, the, it went wide again. I, I think it needs to come a little further left. I'm going to give some feedback to the early access team on those turns to just let them know I it would be interesting to find a scenario where there's two turn lanes uh, and it needs to follow the dotted line in the turn lane if that makes a difference. All right, we're coming up on the drawbridge. A little fast. Gosh, it's honoring the speed maxes I have set. Okay, wait, we got a drawbridge today. This is great. What's coming here? I've got reds here, so it needs to stop. The drawbridge might have just gone. Oh, no, it's getting ready to go up. So this may be long and painful. Uh, I may shorten it or clip it just a little bit so you don't have to watch an entire drawbridge scenario. But here we got a pedestrian that was just running by. And actually the drawbridge operator is having to wait on this set of joggers here uh, to get by before letting this guardrail come down. Now. This is an interesting conversation that we can have here is these guardrails have been a problem for FSD before is because the it's like the vision can't see them. It sees through them. So I, I it would be great if they get a visualization of some sort. Um, so it's coming down now and I'm not seeing anything in the visualization uh, at all. I'm just seeing the red lights being visualized. All the pedestrians walking by are being individually. I um, wonder how far back it's going to map them behind me. Let's see. So it's got the car behind me mapped, and the and the people are just now passing that car, so it's accurately representing them. But it oh, there's a one more. It looks like Infinity is uh, <laughs> at the car right behind me that's being visualized. Okay, so the next thing is when this drawbridge comes up, before I saw a lot of 
semi imagery flashed in and out as it tried to map what it thought it was seeing um, so you can see the drawbridge is going up and I'm not seeing anything uh, being mapped at all which might have to do a little bit with this I'll call uh, smoothed over visualization the the fact that so much less information is being displayed maybe it's oh there it is okay so it's got a big sideways park semi as what it decided to map there and a little bit of uncertainty because it sure is moving around well while you're waiting on a drawbridge it's kind of fun to watch um, and it's definitely going in and out so it's not sure what it's seeing but it's definitely seeing something up there and it doesn't I don't know how I would visualize it honestly if I were a software developer I don't think you would want to spend your time drawing imagery for drawbridges I do wish these crossbars were visualized though because they are in a lot of different places um, trains specifically and, and trains are all over the country and I think that the we have some previous videos that without that stoplight it would ignore that crossbar because it's it's like it's too thin to see and you definitely can see that there while there are flashing red lights there it's not mapping them as any sort of flashing or any sort of light like there's a light there this light um, that's right here you probably can't see but it is on the uh, on the side of the bridge and it is a it is a red light that is flashing I'm not seeing any color in this visualization so it's not seeing it I don't think the the B pillar might be able to see it from over there um, okay so the bridge is going down now and the truck is kind of moving around as the as the bridge is moving <laughs> anyway This is going to make the video a little bit longer, but I think it was it was worthwhile uh, to talk about. All right, now that the bridge is down, on the other side, I can start to see traffic that's not being visualized yet that I can see uh, at all. Um, there are some pedestrians on the right that I, that I can see. I guess it's just beyond the visual range of the car. I have a feeling that that infinity horizon isn't all the car can see, but it's definitely all that's being visualized because um, that is not very far ahead. All right, and the crossbars go up. And the next thing is this should turn green and it should just proceed. And it's green and it goes. So the car did exactly what it needed to do. Not quite got the visualizations all right. Um, but hey, it did it safely. All right, we've just got one more uh, kind of flashing yellow light with a turn up here. Um, it's kind of a tight 90 degree turn with a yellow light. So this will be a, a good one to see how it handles what we've noticed as, a, as kind of taking turns wide uh, and, maybe a little, and maybe a little too fast. Got a biker over here and it is being rendered as a cyclist. That's good cyclist visualization okay here's my flashing yellow with a 90 degree turn it's slowing okay I got a car to deal with too hey that was butter okay so it honored because the yellow line was on the outside um, it did that perfectly maybe maybe that's what the problem is, is in those other turns it was just jumping into the lane uh, but I can't complain with that I think it slowed down ahead of time 
little bit of braking there. Not sure why it's braking. Okay, let's see what is. Oh, navigation setting. <laughs> Sorry, I had my destination there. False alarm. All right, so that is the exact same route as yesterday. I have to say, man, it was better. The wide turns is the only kind of difference I noticed that didn't feel comfortable. The yellow lights were handled perfectly today. A couple of those clips going around some of the parked cars, I think it did better today. Um, it handled all of the stop lights correctly. Uh, that one stop sign we had with a, an oncoming car, it creeped. It saw the car, it stopped. Uh, I, I won't say it's perfect, but it, it did it safely. Um, yeah, they, so we learned a little bit about the attentiveness thing. The camera, while it may be being used, it does not supersede the need to have your hands on the wheel. The tension is still needed on the wheel. The alarms were coming at about 10 seconds. Um, so yeah, that's FSD beta version nine, uh, daytime drive. Um, compare it to yesterday's video if you like to see day by day. Um, and in, we got a lot more testing to do. I think unprotected lefts are next. Uh, after I do this one, shoot, who knows? I may even go do that today. We'll see. Um, please leave uh, constructive comments down below. If you see anything I didn't talk about that is relevant, please send something in the comments and I'll, I'll even highlight it in the timeline uh, for others to benefit from. Uh, there's a lot going on Thank here. With it. Um, I didn't comment on it. I don't know if there are any instances of it, but I did see it last night. Uh, the lead car brake lights are showing uh, in scenarios where you're stopped behind a car. Um, that, that's new information, which does make sense. So if it's using brake lights as a deceleration indicator, uh, that would be appropriate for a, a vision system. All right. Thank you all for uh, subscribing, watching these videos. If you uh, got any other ideas, shoot them at me and uh, over time we'll try to knock them all out. Have a great Saturday.